For 16 years, CBL Data Recovery Technologies has been recovering data from damaged media, tapes, and drives around the world. Computer World Canada visited CBL's headquarters in Markham, Ontario, where President and CEO Bill Margeson led us on a behind-the-scenes tour of the lab's facilities. The process begins at the front reception desk, where CBL asks two key questions. What's your target data? What do you really need from the media? And this is important because uh, most has given back iTunes when they really need their accounting. And then we ask another question. We say, why is this a problem for you? And uh, it sets the stage for the service we're going to have to deliver to be their solution. CBL logs the project, prints out the report, and bags and tags the media. This is the next step would be to take it to the lab. Each drive is unique. Each drive has its own fingerprint of values and idiosyncrasies, and the platter surface is prepared to work with those. So if you take a printed circuit board from another drive, it's another fingerprint, and it's not going to work on, on the distressed drive. Recovery begins with an evaluation by a technician who determines what's wrong with the drive at the physical level. First primary look is, is, is power. Is the power circuitry all functional and okay? Some of the drives actually have fuses built into them, and if it's a fuse problem, it's very simple. Um, if there's been a surge, if there's been uh, heat buildup, um, sometimes the integrated circuits over time degrade. Heat's a real problem. Uh, one telltale sign is the printing on the chip. As the printing gets faded or discolored, you know that that chip's been under uh, heat distress. So. What we want to do is make sure that the, the ingredients we have are functional. We may, in fact, find the problem of, that's electronic at this stage. The technician sees whether the board is functional, matches the drive, and was tampered with. If the printed circuit board looks okay, the technician puts the board back on the bubble and listens to it. And if you hear the click of death, the constant click, 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 that's the read-write heads unable to read the servo code information. The good news for our clients and for us is the disk drive manufacturers write the servo code on the top and the bottom of the platters. There's a backup. What we're able to do is rob Peter to pay Paul. We can't read it from, let's say, the top surface. We'll be able to read it from the bottom surface, put the rules of order together again, and take control of the disk drive at a very, very low level. The next step is verification. CBL's ISO 5 cleaning room pushes high volumes of air through a HEPA filter system, which creates a curtain of ultra-clean air on the work surface, where a technician opens the drive to examine the platter. For all the read-write heads still in place, um, there, are some, there is some circuitry uh, in, in the disk drives uh, called parameter chips and some preamp circuitry. These are all the, uh, checked for what might be wrong in that case. And uh, what we see about 75% of the time, um, there is physical issues. The drive's going to fit them. We then have to change the parameter chip, the firmware chip, and uh, we also have to be able to still gain access to, to the servo track. Then it's off to the bioservices lab for cloning, where every bit of magnetic signal is copied. All objective in, in the bioservices lab is to, is to get the drive to copy to another one of our good host drives. Um, we have about 24,200 drives in stock for the bits and pieces. We have storage across the room and in 17 labs around the world. So if we need a component, a small integrated circuit, um, firmware chip, uh, read-write head component, uh, we have it in-house. If we don't have it, we can find it. Finally, CBL technicians put all the data back together and store it on new media. If the data can't be put back together, there's no charge for the service. We only charge when we've delivered their solution. So there's no hidden fees, no parts fees. We don't fix anything. The disk drive is going to be returned to the user exactly the same way it came here 